really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... At, we're, we're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the other Zeniths can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood.
When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey! Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Kotalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you, too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I... Need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenus. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, Meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. That sounded important. I thought you were gonna go fight some Tanakhs. I wanted to check in with you first. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just, you know, picking up the pieces like everyone else. I'll be there when you need me. I never doubted that. Oh, good. I'm glad you're back. So am I. Do you think so will be okay? I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That keeps the rest of us level-headed. Anybody take you up on that ale? Zo can't stand the smell of it. I tried. And what about Catalo? I know. There's pretty sure we down. I know you hate waiting, but you'll have to stay back here a little longer. Well, you go do what you gotta do, but uh, are you okay? It's not just Varl we lost. Beta's gone. I, mean, I almost lost it when I realized my sister had been taken by Durval back in the Sundom. I'm getting her back. That's all that matters. Understood. I need to get going. Uh, you better get there before Catalo tries to take on Regala's entire army by himself. Yeah, do me a favor. Don't go disappearing on us again. I'll do my best. Aloy. 
You look busy. My studies are a good distraction. Especially after Cauldron Gemini. Varl. Veda. Gaia. Gone. And that's just the beginning. The Zeniths want to rob us of our future, too. We won't let that happen. Oh, and I wanted to give you this. For helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alva. I'll put it to good use. How are you holding up? Varl's loss is heavy on everyone's mind. I didn't know him well, but I can see how much he meant to the others. Zoe and Erend seem to have taken to it the hardest, but I don't quite know what to say to them. They need time to sort through it. And what about you? Will time heal your wounds? I don't know. I try not to think about it. Seems like everyone's ready to take the fight to the enemy. Katalo more than most. If I were this Regala, I wouldn't want to cross him on the battlefield. Regala still has a lot of machines on her side. That's where you come in, I suspect. If my plan works. So, all of the tribes here are new to you? Yes. I've been studying up on them. The most fascinating one thus far has been the Tanakht. An entire culture based on the holograms of an ancient museum. There's much they've misinterpreted. Not unlike the Quen. But still, there's a nobility to what they've become. They're honorable and fearless. And deadly. Tilda, the Zenith that Beta mentioned, she was the one who rescued me. Did she say why? She knew Elizabeth Sobek. Seems to think helping me is honoring her in some way. She was willing to share information on both Silence's plans and the other Zeniths. But you still don't trust her. Where I come from, the more valuable the knowledge shared, the higher the price extracted. I'd be careful if I were you, Aloy. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the Ancestors. The Overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. The archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed just to erase his mistakes. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish more Quen could see that, instead of looking the other way. Or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. I should get going. Be ready to go on my signal, okay? I won't let you down. I know. Uh, hey. hey, do you have a moment? Sure. Tilda's the one who rescued me. Same one that spoke to Beta when none of the others would. Did she say why she saved you? She knew Elizabeth Sobek. Seems to think helping me is honoring her in some way. 
She was willing to share information on both Silence's plans and the other Zeniths. But you still don't trust her. Where I come from, the more valuable the knowledge shared, the higher the price extracted. I'd be careful if I were you, Aloy. I'd need to head out now. Right. Over here, Aloy. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song. Further east, to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Mala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower. 
gathered its seeds. As new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Evoy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms and watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him to thank him for saving my life, sure, but also for not giving up on me. He always knew. to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. I was thinking we could spar for a bit. When you have the time. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, of course. Think you can manage things here while I go help Akaro? Stopping Regala's war. It'll help us take the fight to the Zeniths? Yes. Then I'll make sure the rest of us are ready upon your return. Okay. How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. We'll be facing Spectre drones soon. Arend and Catalo have fought them before, so... I already asked them to run us through some combat drills. Arend moves like an oaf, but he's good with that hammer. I know we both want to make the Zenas pay for what they've done, but once we infiltrate their base, our priority will be to get Gaia and Beta out of there. Don't worry. I won't go seeking revenge like some blood-crazed Tanakh. Wherever your arrow strikes, mine will follow. Well, let's hope we hit our targets. I need to get going. Whatever you plan on doing against Regala, you better return to us in one piece. I'll try.
Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain. There are siblings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. Head rush. Tilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. There's a tall neck. Need to get on top of its head. Now, how to land this thing? Okay, Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good, and the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on a Horus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help.
just means maybe heading for the grove. Tomek should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any holes I fly to. Be useful, even after I deal with Rodola. Over Chaplin. I gotta drop it now. Here it goes. Now on your knees, and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! <laughs> Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're on top of a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. Oh, 
That's what I need.
I am again. On my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead. Run me through. Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the Ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die, I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes. But there's another battle ahead. Against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people. A squad. That's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about... will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold, in the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room. Surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he had an urgent message for the Outlander who defeated Regala. So, stated. It's for her alone. From an interested party. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Xenos. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we were up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, 
and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I let you do that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. With everything... So, Aloy, you've added yet another deed to your name, and I'm guessing by the look in your eyes that you're not done yet. Not quite. Is there anything we can do? We owe you that much. After everything you've been through, you're one of the best people to support Hikaru's bid for peace. Not just between the clans, but with the Karja too. Then I will. You have my word. And until my last breath, I'll make sure the tribe remembers all that you've done for us. With Regala's defeat, the clans will be united. The flame of the desert now flies on the wings of the Ten. Well, wonders never cease. I thought you wanted to stay neutral. In the end, I decided that if you thought Hakara was worth fighting for, then that was good enough for me. I'm honored. The honor is mine. I hope you know what you're doing. Sparing Regala caused this mess to begin with. The chaplains will preach of this battle for as long as the tribe lives on. The chaplains will preach of this battle for as long as the tribe lives on. And so the wings of the Ten found us when things were at their direst. I'm not some legend come to life, Chitaka. That may be, but we will always be in your debt. Aloy, I was hoping that the chaplains will preach of this battle for as long as the tribe lives. What an entrance, Aloy. Ateka, I figured I'd see you here. Of course. The Lowland clan fought for our own today. And like the day Hakaro conquered the grove, we stand victorious. I see the same look in his eyes as I did then. Hope restored. His vision for us endures. He'll need your continued support. I'm sure. And he will always have it. Thank you for everything, Aloy. I know. As soon as I get leave, I'm heading over to the So, Kakaro keeps his head. Aloy, you are breaker. Wings of the Hail, Kakaro's champion. That she flew is certain. Is that playback device working properly? Yes. Thank you for helping to fix it. I have more voices for you to preserve. You honor the fallen.
That's the last of the voices I can detect. You found them all. I was worried that the Delvers would have looted them before they could be recovered. The voices of these ancient soldiers deserve to be held in honor, not sold as entertainment. I will make sure everyone who comes to listen knows that it was you who saved them for us. From one recording to all these, now I have the chance to learn so much about this forgotten war. Thank you. It will make me a better soldier, a better Tanakh. Aloy, that takes a The chaplains will preach of this battle for as long as we try to I feel like I need to do more. 